It is with great pleasure and honor I take this podium to address the scourge of our time, the climate change. We in Tanzania have not been spared by these events. Sea level rise is eating at arable land. Our pride, the Mount Kilimanjaro, is drastically becoming bold due to glacier melting. And un uh, we are experiencing unpredictable floods and droughts. We are experiencing all these despite our resolve to dedicate 48 million hectares to forest conservation as global service to carbon sequestration. Our exotic and beautiful archipelago of Zanzibar is struggling with temperature rises, saltwater intrusion, and inundation, thus impacting its tourism ecology. Excellencies, what does all this mean to a poor country like Tanzania? It means 30% of our GDP that comes from agriculture, forestry, and fisheries is not sustainable. Sadly, the big resolve and re robust steps to combat causes and effects of climate change are still low paced. The Paris goal of achieving 1.5 degrees Celsius is yet to be made, while more commitment are required. We in Tanzania are determined to take swift actions as our inaction means risking our development agenda and prosperity. We have in place the National Climate Change Response Strategy and the National Determined Contributions aimed at reducing greenhouse gases emissions economy-wide between, between 30 and 35 by 2030. On mitigation front, through hydro, geothermal, and solar, we have managed to increase power generation and thus increasing access rate from 43% in 2017 to almost 70 in 2020. Our reforestation rate increased from 25 to 27 in 2020, with every year planting on average of 276 million trees. Excellencies, if we developing countries have shown such leadership, why large emitting countries are lagging behind? The IPCC AR6, AR6 has clearly explained the scope and magnitude of the climate change impacts. We know what is required, and we know that if the world will not act accordingly, the countries like ours will, with low adaptive capacity have no options but to brace for more devastating impacts. However, uh, what we all ought to remember is when the drastic climate changes hit, it will choose no location, might or weak, poor or rich country. And so we call upon an urgent unlocking of a climate financing that will trigger plan targets and implementation of the NDC. The time to act is now. Thank you so much. Thank you.